connected. Good evening, everybody. Welcome again to Woodsman Adventures. This evening, uh, I've already installed the BMB skid plate on the Africa Twin, the bash plate. And uh, now I'm going to install the BMB radiator guards for the Africa Twin. These things are extremely well built. They're extruded aluminum and some CNC work also on them. Uh, very good quality. Not just some little cheap stuff. Really good quality. These things ought to help improve the airflow to the Africa Twin, which also keep with the angle keeps sticks from going straight in, and uh, a lot better than the little cheap ones that come with the Africa Twin. So uh, they fit right in the factory place. Comes with all the hardware. Uh, this is a spacer that we'll be using under the horn to space it out because the these are a little thicker than the stock ones, the cheap uh, cheap ones that come stock. So we'll be using this uh, to space out the horn, and uh, these are the brackets that will hold them on. I'll be mounting them on there, show you, and then here we got the tools we're going to need, which will be a I'm using quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket a uh, 3 millimeter allen wrench and a 5 millimeter allen wrench and also a Phillips screwdriver and I believe that's all we're going to need to do it so let's get started with the install also I should say before I do comes with some instructions and good instructions which in most places is crazy why they can't put good instructions with it but B&B does a good job of putting instructions with their products so I give them a big thumbs up for that no doubt. So let's get started with the install now. Okay, the first thing you'll notice we're going to do is over on this side here, we have a couple push pegs uh, located here and a Phillips screw that we'll be removing. And then over here, these things are extremely just cheap plastic. Over here, we'll be removing these two 10 millimeter bolts to do this side. Okay, the first thing I want to do is remove these push pegs here this Phillips screw. There's also another push peg right up here located above above this one right here. The way to remove them is just take you an Allen wrench. I take my three, three millimeter Allen wrench and push it in until it snaps. I take my little knife pull that push peg out. As you can see this push peg how they work is uh, whenever you put this thing back in, you'll be putting it in, and when you put it in the hole, then you'll push this peg in and it snaps right into place, locks in. Right now we need to leave them out so we can install them back in there. Remove the Phillips screw right here. Like so. I also want to show you there's also one of those little push pegs located right up here that we'll need to remove right there. So we'll snap it out. And there's also one more push peg up here. So basically what you got for the push pegs, you got one here, one here, one down low. You got the Phillips screw to take out and then you have the little push peg up here. And then this plastic guard will come out of here. Now we should be able to pop this thing right out of here. Like so. And look at that flimsy thing. That ain't gonna protect much. You get a stick and just bust some little plastic bars right out of there, it won't do anything. So yeah, that's horrible. Okay, now we'll set this bracket in place. Use the three, mil three millimeter Allen bolt. Leave it loose till we get our little push pegs back in there. Put them in there. Also going to put the one up high, back where it came out. Put the one right here, where it goes. And then we just pop these in. So you hear them snap. 
like so. Okay, now I'm going to take this two 10 millimeter bolts out here, top and bottom. I also want to be sure that you do tighten up your three millimeter Allen bolt now that you got your push pegs in where you can. Okay, then we're going to set our new one in here like this. Use our original 10 millimeter bolts to bolt this side back in. It kind of may have to move it around a little bit because when you release that, pretty much the only thing it's holding it is the radiator hoses. So get them two started like so. And then you have the uh, five millimeter bolts that will go in this side like so. Get them both lined up before we tighten them. Take our ratchet and tighten up our 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, now I can show you this one installed. Very good solid fit, way better than the plastic that comes on it. One nice thing is you can remove these two Allen bolts, these two 10 millimeters if you get a lot of mud and a lot of clay or something and it gets clogged, um, you can clean it out real easy. And uh, way superior look and protection compared to the factory little plastic dish drainer looking <laughs> ones it has on it but so these are pretty awesome we'll get the other side installed over here now turn the bars to that side okay now what I'm gonna do here is exactly like I did on the other, the other side I'm going to remove the Phillips screw And I'm going to remove all these push pegs out of here. Go ahead and snap them all. Okay, one thing I'm going to do on this side is take a 12 millimeter socket and I'm going to uh, remove the horn. 12 millimeter bolt right there. Now we'll just stick it up here out of the way. Hopefully, it's still wherever it'll stay out of the way at so we can pop this out. Get that out of the way. Remove these two 10 millimeter bolts right here. Just like we did on the other side. This side here will install exactly the same way as the first side where I did it. Put the three millimeter bolt in here first. Pop the push pegs back into place. Now we're going to install this one just like we did on the other side with the original 10 millimeter bolts. And we'll install our ground bolts on this side.
All right, now we'll install our horn back. And what we got is a spacer that goes behind the horn bracket to space it out. And then we got a bolt supplied to hold it in because we need a longer bolt because we're using the spacer. So it will go behind the bracket. Put the bolt through the horn like so. I'm going to move it over this way as far as I can without it touching the frame. Just like that right there. Not touching the frame. And uh, it's out of the way. Look how good that looks. Sweet looking. Okay. So we are done with the install of the B&B radiator guards. Let's let look at them from the front. Very good looking. Makes it makes it look a lot better with that chrome finish to the. It's actually not chrome, but it's polished aluminum. But it sure does look good and uh, easy to install. Good instructions. So uh, I'll put the link to to B&B Off Road below, so you can check them out. And uh, thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Please subscribe, click the thumbs up, and I'll catch you all in the next video.